forth the values that a world at peace will find indispensable. That is the purpose of this statement of alliance and support. In turn, our Jewish community is here as a partner, one presence among many in a stunning coalition of backgrounds to call for a strengthening of moral respect in our community in order to chase away the hate and violence with steadfast and dependable care and attention. What we do every day becomes a habit which shapes the development of our character. Whatever we pay attention to grows and becomes part of who we are. This afternoon, we are standing in front of the oldest existing synagogue building in the great state of Texas, which originally stood in the town of Brenham. And if these walls could talk, they would speak of times when immigrants became Americans, neighbors who went out of their way to help each other. These walls would remind us that in the face of our differences, we can even sometimes laugh together. And our ties are strengthened as our precious children grow up all together. From our history in this Lone Star State, we learn that we are not to stand idly by when we have an opportunity to make things better. We are to support each other in the pursuit of purpose, meaning, and satisfaction in life. And with appreciation to all who stand as partners this day and every day, and those who will continue to join in, let us continue to seek each other with curiosity and gratitude. Let us continue to raise each other up by tending to friendship. Asking questions grows our own self-confidence. Let us never retreat from the opportunity we have to make our home in Austin a home of which we are proud because of what we choose to do while making our lives here. It is connection and belonging that we stand for today. And everyone, in response to your outpouring of friendship, we, the Jewish community, resolves in turn to see your pain. And in doing the hard yet noble work of friendship, we thus say, we love you too. Thank you. Are there any other elected officials that I did not mention? I see Council Member Hub. Natasha Hoffman Madison. Are there any others that? Um, State Representative Cecilia Israel, thank you all for being here. Anyone else? Okay. She was mentioned. Okay, at this time, I would like to invite all the community members and everyone else to be here, besides the media, of course, so because we want to really show the cross section of our community who are standing here. So come on up. We have a space for you here. We can go up on the stairs some more, but we want this visual picture of you. So please be here. Um, my name is Renee LaFair. I'm the regional director of ADL Austin and a convener of the Austin Travis County Hate Crimes Task Force. On behalf of Rabbi Daniel Septimus and Shalom Austin, we are here to let Austin and the greater community know that given the blatant anti Semitism of the last 10 days, that we are on it. That we work together as a community to respond to every anti Semitic incident and crime and to hold those perpetrators of hate accountable for their actions that we work every day to ensure the safety of the Jewish community, that we work with community partners, with elected officials, with the Austin Police Department and Travis County and the Austin Fire Department to fully investigate and strategize over how to best handle each instance. 
and we are grateful for that collaboration. We have learned from over a century of working in this space that language matters, that hate begets hate. In our current environment of national division, it is our goal, our duty, to keep these acts of hatred at the fringes of society where they belong. We also know that, as we have seen in the beautiful work of IACT and in this extremely important statement that you have heard today, that community overcomes hate, that acceptance, unity, and support beget more of the same. It takes us all coming together to oppose anti-Semitism and hate and bigotry in all of its forms to make Austin no place for hate. We thank the Austin community for its overwhelming support. My name is Rabbi Kelly Levy. I'm the Associate Rabbi at Congregation Beth Israel. I'd like to express my gratitude to all the first responders, in particular the Austin Fire Department, for your fast action last night, which greatly minimized the damage to our beloved building. To all of the Jewish community and our interfaith friends and neighbors, thank you for checking in, for showing your support and sending lots of love our way. It does not go unnoticed. As you've heard from the speakers today, this is sadly not the first time our community has faced anti-Semitism and discrimination. It is not the first time the Austin interfaith community has come together to support one another, to speak out against hatred, and to diminish the voices of those who are working to divide us. As a native Texan, this hatred breaks my heart. But we are in this together. We will be persistent, compassionate, and resolute because our love for humanity strengthens our resistance to hatred we will be okay. We know this rise in anti-Semitism and acts of violence in our community will not deter our spirit, that we will continue to flourish and thrive, and the support we've received allows us to come together united and able to push forward. We call on our public officials and candidates at all levels to call out religious hatred of any kind including distancing themselves from supporters who fuel this hatred. These incidents will not be tolerated in our city. The Jewish community stands with every marginalized community, with our interfaith siblings, with all of humanity. We are asking for you to continue standing with us now. Thank you. Thank you. And right now, we will invite any questions, and we would like to ask the fire department, representatives from the fire department, to come up here to also answer any questions. Good afternoon. My name is Jerry Kennedy. I am an assistant chief for the Austin Fire Department, and we want to make clear to the community that the Austin Fire Department stands shoulder to sh shoulder of our community, communities of faith, our leadership, and our public safety partners. Unfortunately, last night, our community suffered a hit uh, due to some anti-Semitic actions, and we, as reported, uh, responded, and uh, I would like to say that our crews did an outstanding job of minimizing the damage. Today I have with me Division Chief Tom Boki, the Fire Marshal, and Captain Jennings, who leads the investigation of this unfortunate event. And at this time, I will turn it over to Captain Jennings for any questions that you have. Uh, the fire last night about how it might have been started how big it was, and um, as obvious as it might be to you, um, what certain things you know about the, um, about the fire and why it was an accident. Okay. Um, 
So approximately uh, 9.04 p.m. last night, the Austin Fire Department was notified of a structure fire by a passerby. The fire crews arrived, they found a fire at the front entry of the building. <clears throat> they were able to extinguish it, force entry, to ensure that there was no other fire in the building. Uh, they quickly called for the fire investigators based on what they saw at the scene. Um, it appeared that uh, there was some type of possible ignitable liquid used in the event to accelerate the fire. Um, investigators got there. We worked with the staff that was on scene. <coughs> we have obtained some video footage at this time, and we're following up some tips that we have as well. Um, <coughs> there was no... The, we, we call it an incendiary fire, which basically is a fire in a place where it shouldn't have been. Uh, there was no competent ignition sources that could have started this fire. And the fact that uh, we did run in the fire debris as well, and we did get some positive hits. So we collected samples to send to the state lab for analysis as well. Um, all of our examination and our interviews at that time uh, tips as well about certain um, activities going on in the area and that's what we're kind of following up now with our partner agencies that we're dealing with. I don't know that off the top of my hand based on the location I believe uh, uh, a unit that's uh, just off of Burnett Road and Hancock Lane was the first unit there, and I believe they were there within probably three to four minutes. By the time that they did get there, the fire had uh, downsized quite uh, because this building, uh, fortunately, is a uh, all concrete type building, and uh, basically concrete doesn't really burn. So they they were I mean they were fortunate, and you know. That's if you can get one one high point out of it, you know, you can pull that from it that based on the building construction it did save the building quite a bit. Sorry, uh, it's Captain Jennings, J E N N. We are we are reviewing footage from, from the buildings right now from the actual fire buildings. Was there any damage at all, Captain? Uh, yes, uh, the wooden door doors that are there uh, did receive damage from the fire. Um, there was uh, some interior damage to uh, some... Um, uh, there was scorching, there was a smoke on all the leaded glass that's above all those doors and uh, there was unfortunately one piece of glass that was broken it does appear uh, from what we found that maybe there was an item thrown at that uh, to uh, we, we damage um, we we estimate the damage based on the doors uh, what they're made of and the cleanup probably around twenty five thousand dollars worth I want, everyone, I want everyone to thank, I thank the Austin Fire Department. They were amazing last night. But I also, in terms of the work in this last 10 days and everything, I also want to make sure that, you know, AISD is recognized for their work and Austin Police Department is recognized for the amount of times that we've also communicated and worked with them in the last week. And I want everyone, I know that this happened last night, but I don't want to forget all of the people that we worked with and thank them as well. All right, thank you everyone for being here today and our faith leaders are here to answer any questions that you have. So if you wanna speak with them, please feel free to go um, talk with them. And there is food over here and drinks. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here.